<laughs> a weird thing, but but it is a thing. We got about 45 minutes left, and then it's December for real. Yeah, and then before you know it, it'll be January. <laughs> oh my gosh, right. Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, all the eves. Yeah. yeah, it moves very quickly. You know, we had really nice temperatures out there today. The weather wasn't as pleasant early on with all the rain, but the high temperatures into the 60s. This will put you in the spirit, though, for the holidays, right? This is High Country Lights at Feltz Park in Galax. You can see the show there. Admission is free. That is running all the way through the end of the year as well nightly. Our temperatures this afternoon, even in places like Galax, got close to 60 degrees, so really mild into November. We average about 56 this time of year, and the temperatures are on their way down. You see single digits and 20s, all of that crashing south and east into our area. That front that brought us the rain as well off the coast right now. We've cleared out behind it, but boy, we had some impressive rain across the area today and some rainfall totals in most areas more than a half of an inch. Three quarters of an inch was pretty popular. Ashboro, Burlington, Reedsville, close to an inch in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, just over that in Mount Airy. We also had some high wind gusts out there. We had some wind gusts that were really strong over our mountain regions. We still have that wind coming in out of the west northwest, so it's still cold at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Temperatures already close to freezing in Galax at 33. We're 39 in North Wilkesboro, and numbers are in the low 40s already in Greensboro. Greensboro, wind chill values that are in the 20s and 30s will be down into the teens and 20s by tomorrow morning. So this is what you're going to need to dress for early tomorrow. So that means bring back out the winter coat, the scarves, the gloves, the hats. You'll want to bundle up for sure. It's going to stay kind of cool too. Most of the day tomorrow in the 40s, maybe getting to about 50 by late afternoon with a north breeze, 5, 10 miles an hour. We'll have a mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow. Numbers are chilly chilly in the foothills too. We're into the upper 40s by late afternoon. It's a chilly day in the mountains with lighter winds in the afternoon, partly cloudy skies, temps in the upper 30s, close to 40. We've got dry skies for Thursday and Friday and for all the weekend events, we do have a chance for some rain on Saturday. Right now, Sunday looks drier. Hope you'll join me for one of the weekend events. It's the Penny Campaign Collection Day. It's at Truist Stadium. That's the home of the Winston-Salem Dash. You can bring your loose change coins donations drop them off from 9 a.m. until noon and we've got temperatures that are in the 40s and 50s so it's not too cold could have a passing rain shower and if you're headed out to some of the parades on Saturday morning we also have those temps close to 50 make sure you're layered up in the morning make sure you've got a raincoat option and then into the afternoon we could also have a passing shower but look how much warmer it gets temperatures will be in the mid 60s by late day and then for Sunday much colder with highs only in the low 50s and plenty of clouds around. If you are traveling south to Bank of America Stadium for that Tar Heel Tiger matchup Saturday night, we've got a cool evening with temperatures in the 50s falling into the 40s. Here's your seven day forecast. The temperatures again do that drop from Saturday into Sunday. Our rain chances go up Monday and Tuesday.